Natalie is assessing our three T3 cells. First, we must check for contamination because if contam contamination has occurred, cells must be disposed of. Once our flasks have been checked for contamination, we assess confluency. If confluency is greater than 85%, we can proceed on passaging our cells to new flasks. As you can see, our cells are greater than 85% confluent. The purpose of passaging cells is to prevent our cells from overcrowding and dying to ensure cells have the optimal density to survive and thrive. Okay, so after assessing our cells from the, in the microscope, we now proceed to passaging our cells. So before we start, you want to turn on your blower and your light and make sure that you, your UV light is off. Now, Carlos is going to clean his surface area and he is um, going to clean it with 70% ethanol and going to wipe it off with um, chem wipes. We also want to make sure that the biohazard and waste containers are always in close proximity to, um, to the person who is doing the procedure so you can throw everything away. So what Carlos is doing right now is he's just loosening the caps so it's easier for him to handle everything else after so first, when passaging cells, you want to remove the medium. Make sure to um, not to put the cap down. So always hold it on your fingers just like he's doing it. After removing your medium, what you want to do next is to suspend your cells into suspension, so you want to add trypsin. So Carlos is going to add 1.5 ml of trypsin. After adding the trypsin, you want to leave it for at least 20 seconds. So after leaving the trypsin in 20 seconds, you want to remove the trypsin. Now we want to proceed into the microscope and check that the cells are actually suspended. After checking in the microscope that our cells are actually in suspension, now Carlos is going to add 3.5 ml of DMEM because we're using 3T3 cells and in this way he's going to deactivate the residual trypsin that is in the flask. Before passaging our cells to a new flask, we want to do a cell count. 
The purpose of a cell count is to determine in how many flasks you want to split your cells into. And this is showing that we need to split our cells into two flasks. After doing our cell count, we determined that in order to have an optimal density of cells per milliliter, we need to split into two flasks. So Carlos is going to add 3.5 ml of DMEM to the existing um, culture flask with the 3.5 ml. Now that we have the 7 mLs in the culture flask, Carlos is going to resuspend two to three times in order to mix the cells. Carlos is now transferring 3.5 mLs into his first culture flask. Now he's going to take the remaining 3.5 ml and transfer it to the second culture flask. Now Carlos is going to proceed in labeling his new passage um, cells. First, he's going to label his first culture flask sample 1, 3T3 passage 1. And the second flask will be labeled 3T3 passage 1, sample 2. Carlos will proceed to store our cells in the CO2 incubator at 37 degrees. This will ensure the op optimal growth of our cells and we will come in two to three days in order to check the cell growth. 